So you want to make a slideshow of your pictures to watch on DVD, or you're going to bring a DVD over to your parent's house or to your friend's house to watch your last vacation pictures. Well, you can use Photo DVD, a very easy to use tool to make your slideshow and burn it automatically onto DVD. So let's take a look at those steps. The first step here is to add the pictures. Click on this first icon to the bottom left. Here I can add those quickly my pictures will show up in this list here. You can navigate through them this way. The picture highlighted is the picture that's shown on the right here. So I can move the order and change the order of these pictures by using these blue arrows. Moving down, we don't need to order the, order the pictures at all, but we can if we want to. If one needs to be rotated, we can use these buttons down here to rotate the picture so it's standing upright. Okay, if we want to add comments to our picture, we can go into the additional editing. So I right click on this and click on properties, go to additional editing. I can also access this window by double clicking on it. So here I see on the bottom line I can type comments in for my pictures. I will write that this is a church. We can also change the color of our subtitles by going down here and clicking on these three plus buttons and clicking next to here it says font and the three buttons and I can change the color of that perhaps yellow if I prefer okay and I can see my color of my subtitles have changed okay and I can navigate through my pictures and continue typing on different subtitles for each picture if I'd like as well okay I can change them to black and white if I'd like as well and change the animation or duration of the picture here on the right as well by using these plus or minus buttons for that. Okay. If we want the pictures to show up for a longer time period altogether for them to each to show five seconds, I can change that in the imaging tab in the settings. Or if I want one picture to not last that long, I can do that just in the additional editing just for this picture and say I want this one to only last one second long on the, str on the screen, for example. Okay. All right, that is good. So we've added our pictures. We've moved them around to in the order that we'd like them to show. I can enter in the name of my slideshow. I will say Vacation 2008. All right, great. And now we're in the next tab here, the Audio tab. I can add music to play along with my files. So I will add a song. I can add multiple songs. It depends on how long my slideshow is. So I have see the total time of my pictures and the audio length to see if that will match up correctly. Right now my audio is longer than the actual pictures that will, will be showing here. I can listen to that song and see if it's the right one for for my... That's pretty loud. If it, See if that's the right thing for my pictures. Okay, now I can go ahead and move on to the next step here, which is the last step. Oh, I would like to show you one more thing. I'm going to go back. And we also have a fast preview, so we can see what that would look like of our slideshow before we actually go ahead and compile it. So watch your ears. It might be loud here. This will be a short preview of our slideshow. There we go. Okay. And click on next. And here we can select if we want to compile it to our hard drive, to a DVD. I will do that to my hard drive. And then all I have to do is click next. And my slideshow, this will be a summary of my slideshow. And next again. And here we go. My slideshow will begin compiling. If I have a blank DVD inserted into my DVD player, it will be burnt automatically onto DVD. Again, to watch my subtitles on DVD, I just have to use the DVD remote control and click on the subtitle button for those to appear as they work just like a commercial DVD. So, it's easy as that with Photo DVD to make a slideshow of your photos to watch on TV.